We here at the Shoddy Cast love our fans, and your passionate, insightful comments definitely don't go unnoticed. Comments like the one we got from GamerMike413, who helpfully informs us that a ghoul you encounter in Fallout New Vegas named Raul is actually based upon his asshole. Thanks, GamerMike. It's insightful comments like yours that remind us that we're on YouTube. But in all seriousness, you guys have always brought all your knowledge and love of gaming to the comment section, and we wanted to celebrate that this time around by doing our first ever Viewer's Choice Edition of Hidden History. That means that every reference used in this episode is directly inspired by one of your comments. God help us. Commenter Ethan Shank dug deeper into the history of the gun that inspired the Lincoln Repeater, the Henry Rifle. We've already told you how the Henry Rifle was used during the Civil War, but it also has an interesting connection to Abe Lincoln himself. A solid gold encrusted version of the rifle was given to President Lincoln by the New Haven Arms Company in hopes of convincing him to purchase their weapons for use in the US Civil War. And that's not the only notable fact about the Henry Rifle. The gun has been enjoying a second life as the Hollywood Western's rifle of choice. It can be found in films like Cowboys and Aliens, Dances with Wolves, Django Unchained, and both versions of True Grit. Tango Charlie has another interesting gun-related fact to share. The Zurong Chinese Pistol appears to be named after Zhu Rong, an ancient Chinese god of fire. If you're familiar with the gun, you know just how fitting that name is, because the pistol just happens to fire highly dangerous bullets capable of setting your enemies aflame. Zhu Rong would be proud. Jumping from the ancient past to the sci-fi future, Vault Boy dropped in to let us know that the 223 pistol from Fallout 1 and 2, called That Gun in New Vegas, is modeled after the weapon carried by Harrison Ford's character in the 1982 movie classic Blade Runner. Speaking of Harrison Ford, according to commenter Jamie Ridenour, the broom handle pistol that inspired the Chance Type 17 also served as the design inspiration for Han Solo's iconic blaster in the original Star Wars trilogy. Robbie Was Up points out a fairly obscure reference. The New Vegas male haircut option Pterosaur is actually named after a character in the Transformer spin-off Beast Wars. In the show, the evil Pterosaur sports a head crest that would go on to inspire one of Fallout's many unique looks. Jake Ferentz commented to tell us that not only is New Vegas' Good Springs a real small town in West Nevada, one of the in-game locations there, the Prospector Saloon, actually has a real-world counterpart in the town, the Pioneer Saloon. The bar has apparently become so popular with Fallout fans that a copy of the game's cover now hangs on a wall inside the bar. Most Fallout fans will be familiar with the New Vegas mission where the player must bring the wreckage of a crashed B-29 bomber to the surface of Lake Mead, but you may not know that the plane actually exists. As commenter Doug Peck helpfully pointed out, in 1948, a real B-29 did crash into the lake and remains there to this day. In fact, if you really want to prove your Fallout fandom, you can join a public diving expedition into the ship, which just reopened to the public in April of this year. YouTube user Mr. Donnie Dude brings up an author who should be very familiar to Hidden History fans by now, the horror author H.P. Lovecraft. His short story The Dunwich Horror is referenced in Fallout 3, serving as the inspiration for the Dunwich building. Many of you probably already knew this, but you may not know the more subtle Lovecraft references found in the eerie basement of the building. There, players may come across an obelisk engraved with skulls and whispering the same few words over and over again, Alhazared and Gyeth. Both of these words may sound like gibberish, but are actually hidden references to Lovecraft's work. Abdul Alhazared is the fictional creator of the evil Necronomicon, and Gyeth is thought to be an homage to Rilie, an ancient underwater city where Cthulhu lies in slumber. Lastly, and this one's really gonna blow your minds, did you guys know that according to every YouTube commenter ever, the Fat Man Nuclear Catapult is named after the code name of the nuclear bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki in 1945? Of course he did. Okay, well what about the fact that the iBots are based on the design of the Soviet Sputnik satellite? You knew that one too, huh? Hey, we had to include them eventually, so there you go. We hope you've enjoyed our very first Viewer's Choice episode of Hidden History. Do you know any other references we didn't cover here? Share them in the comment section below, and we might include it in a future episode. And if you like Hidden History, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I'm Austin, a 20-something nerd, and since this episode is all about you, the fans, and your rigorous commenting standards, this is for those of you who complained during my first video about how to pronounce a particular firearm manufacturer. Heckler und Koch. Shoot me a line at AR Horrigan on Twitter, and I'll catch you later.
This episode of Hidden History is brought to you by my cat, who is incapable of remaining silent during a voiceover recording and demands internet fame and tuna.